Hello and welcome to another Max 8 tutorial. This is number 39, Going 3D, Part 2. So, when we had last left off, let me drag our little friend Bart in here. When we had last um, left off, we had managed to uh, take some pictures and put them onto a shape in a JIT world and uh, we could decide on the shape. Um, let's try a cone. There we go, nice little cone there. A cone of peppers. There they are. Interesting, interesting. Or everyone's favorite, the torus, otherwise known as the donut. Okay, so it looks particularly yummy from that angle. So, a little lighting. Okay, I'll stop. All right. So we've got a picture in there. Um, moving forward, we'd like to do more interesting things like have a movie playing in there, right? So uh, let's get right to that right now. I'm going to come over here, unlocking my patcher, create a P, uh, a B patcher, B patcher. And in that B patcher, I am going to get our video player from a previous um, tutorial, which I will include the link to on the YouTube page. So we're going to go get the uh, inspector and push it on into the frame here. And <laughs> Bart, in his usual way, is being annoying. So we're just going to put him over here. And we'll come over here and choose. What do we? Whoops. <laughs> what did we call that thing? It was uh, Tutorial 35, the Video Control. Yeah, sure. Video Control. That's it. So um, it looks like we're, we're zoomed in too far on our window here, so I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit. Um, it's not not being friendly to that. Okay, so let's put our big giant video player here. There it is. And move our other objects over a little bit so we can work with this. We'll move them all closer together. There we go. So we still have our chilies over here and we've imported the name Chili, and here's our JIT world. Um, you can cover the inspector a little bit there for the moment. So how would we then, if, if we can see how to get a uh, texture out of here named Chili, you might wonder if we couldn't do the exact same thing to get uh, a movie out of here. And the fact of the matter is that we really can. So. Let's just go ahead and uh, save ourselves a couple seconds and bring a GL texture down to here. Before we hook it up, let's rename it um, Chicken. Chili and Chicken. Chicken and Chili. Now, you might remember that uh, this video has the output uh, audio, audio, and I believe we labeled them and video out. And so we run the video out in here. We give it the texture name chicken and then um, we can also uh, tell this we can of course have it at chili but we can also change it to chicken. So uh, one way we can do that is to simply hook it up to this, but another way is we can send it a message and just say, message. Uh, we want your texture to be chicken. And uh, we can also say, I would like your texture to be chili. And I know it's hard to believe, but we can also say, I would like your texture 
to be you're not going to believe it chicken chili okay so let's uh, hook these things up here and we'll just click on texture chicken now nothing erased here our object disappeared and left a strangely gray background there but we're not going to worry about that for the moment we are going to just whoops block our patcher come over here select the chickens movie there's the chickens playing they have refilled the object uh, there thank you bart and now we have chickens roaming around our donut. If we were to, uh, there comes a chicken. It's very interesting how they wrap the screen around this. Now, if we were to miss our chilies, we could of course click here and have our chilies back and now the big wahoo chicken and chilies oh that's kind of dark but essentially the uh, chickens are going on top of the chilies it's uh, combining them together now if you're the kind of person who just has to have control over this sort of thing there is a little um, JIT object that will help you out doing that, and that is the JIT light, ob light object, lighting object. I know I can say it. Type a G, a J, and you get the JIT. Well, it doesn't always fill in so nicely, but here's ours. And um, you can put all sorts, of, and particularly if you name it the same thing as our world, i.e., Bart, then we'll be able to uh, put a couple attributes on this. Let's just uh, copy these because I need a whole bunch of them, I think. Maybe even more than that. I'm going to just get four of them right off the. I'm going to get six of them. There we go. And just run this around holding the shift key down to attach to each one of these. You have to adjust a lot of things with lighting, and it's very sensitive. I'm letting off the shift key so I don't end up with an extra patch there. And lock my patcher, and I should be able to decide what type of light I want. Let's suppose directional's um, pretty easy because it just shines from above, but it doesn't give you quite the um, control that, like, let's say, a spotlight does. And then once we decide on that, then we need to know uh, what our diffuse colors are, what our direction is. Is it direction? I think it's direction. Well, direction, hopefully. And then um, the all these um, atten attributes are important for for lighting um, though I'm not sure about this uh, quadratic we'll put it there anyway and see how we do so these should allow us to um, move the uh, lighting around so let's see if our oops I didn't lock my patcher um, got our color thing popped up down here so you can change your diffuse lighting to whatever kind of lighting you want I'm gonna make mine a little pink so I can see if, maybe I'll make it blue yeah I can see the blue I can see the pink so it is actually already lit the question is just how to make it really uh, powerful so probably turning down this constant towards zero usually it has to do with the amount of loss that you get so as you get towards zero, it gets brighter. Yeah, there we go. So now we're lighting that object right up and getting down there. 
There we go. Look at that. It's much, much brighter. You can see that a lot clearer. And then uh, some sort of linear. Oh, there we go. Yes, yes, yes. Uh huh. It was already good where it was. And uh, same thing. Closer to zero, I get the better. Should be a way to get a brighter light here. And then, as you can also see, um, if you play with the direction, the light is sweeping across the object. So you got to be a little bit careful with that. And also like that. Now, if you want to solve that problem, you can go back to just a directional light, which lights it up from everywhere. Um, but is much duller. So the one way that we could do it, though, um, would be to uh, make another attribute here and uh, connect that and um, lock your patcher and go get the ambient light. And right now the ambient light in this world is black. So if we uh, change that to a brighter color, um, it should light the whole object up much, uh, much brighter, which it does. There we go. A bit uh, brighter there, and then we can uh, go back and put the spotlight on it. And uh, so now we have, whoops, <laughs> I think we moved the spotlight a little bit. There we go. Whoop, whoop. No, there, there, there we go. There we go. Okay, so now we've got our our object pretty well lit in the ambient world, and also a little bit with a spotlight. Um, we could also change the color of the ambient light, but uh, to blue. And uh, hmm, doesn't seem to respond to that at all. Oh, I imagine that's because I went back to a spot and it was working with the directional light when I was going to like a... Yeah, there you go. So green is really the... When you have just the directional light, your ambient light could stand to be the brighter light there. Anyway. There you go. So if you want to brighten your picture up a little bit, you can play with the uh, jitgl.light effect as well and throw that in there. So that was it. A little bit of, uh, um, oh, the, you know, the real issue, look how bright it is now. The real issue is that when the chicken and chili get combined, what they should be doing is, is uh, finding another way of combining them. Ha! Solve that problem right away. Um, so there we go. Anyway, that's it. You've got a video now projected onto a torus or a sphere or what you, whatever you like, and you can spotlight it if you like. Now we have to turn our ambient light down so we can see that spotlight. Oops. There we go. I guess different objects uh, light differently. There we go. See, they're very sensitive. I said that in the beginning. It's hard to believe just how uh, sensitive they are. So there you go. Chickens on the lighted chicken planet. Peppers on the lighted, excuse me, chilies on the lighted pepper planet. Very nice. Well done, everybody. So that was movies, whoops, sorry, movies to 3D objects today. And I will see you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.